Hi everyone. Next we are going to see different types of errors in measurement. So till now we have seen what is electronic instrumentation. Then what is different parameters accuracy, precision, resolution, sensitivity, expected value. In the final one we have seen error. When we were discussing about error, I told you actually what is error. We have an expected value like this. I already told you if I am using this machine to measure 1 kilogram weight. So I have an expected value 1 kilogram that is 1000 gram. But the accuracy is less here. Even though I am saying I had require exact 1000 gram, 1 kilogram, sometimes it may become 1010 gram, that is 1 kilogram and 10 gram. 10 gram is more, or 5 gram is less, that is 995 gram. So, exact value will not be there. So, actually, our expected value was 1000 gram and the true value that is the value we obtained by using this machine expected value is 1000 gram but after i am using this machine i am assured weight of 1 kilogram sugar that time i obtained only 995 gram so 5 gram is less compared to expected value so this difference between our actual expectation and the value which we are getting, the true value what we are getting by this device or machine, that is actually error. So what are the reason for this error? Different types of errors are there. So we are going to see those things. So types of error in measurement, actually there are five types of errors gross error systematic error random error absolute error and relative error actually absolute error and relative error both are same so we can say not five four types of error the gross error first one we are going to see gross error means the error occurs due to human mistake in reading instrument and calculating results of measurement. So this one you can easily understand if we are taking the same picture. The when the for to measure the weight of one kilogram on material that if I am saying one kilogram um, sugar, if I am taking the same example, so the exact position of this one, the exact position of this needle should be at the middle point corresponding to this tip okay then we are saying it is one kilogram but many of them may may not exactly notice that one or their visibility may not be clear that much their eye, vis eye visibility so like that some reasons may be there so due to this reason the chance of human mistakes it will be more here in this case because if you are standing exact in front of this position you can see this one will be just below of the strip if the shopkeeper he is standing here and looking then it may not be exact this middle position but he may felt that it is in the middle position that one you can easily understand the or um, voltmeter and ammeter what we are using in our labs no digital meters voltmeter and ammeter see all the case our ammeter or voltmeter it is somewhat like this then most of you may notice that there is one mirror just below this reading one mirror is there 
And then what is the use of this mirror? Reason is only one. If you you are going to measure, this is thirty. You want to if you say it is thirty ampere or whatever it is. Okay. Hmm? You want to measure it is thirty ampere. The exact position of this thirty ampere when it is reaches exact position of this thirty ampere, you have to switch off the. Uh, uh, you have to control the supply. So, if a person <coughs> stand exact in front of this device, he may feel it is in just uh, position, just or uh, he may feel that in this nearly is exact this marking of thirty. If one person who is stand here, he may feel this needle is exact at this position of marking, but it may not be exact here it may be somewhat near to here this position or the one person who is standing here he may feel this needle is exact at this marking point but that time needle may not be reached there it may be somewhat here and again uh, if you are looking from the top or bottom that is uh, angle of your eye contact based on that this one may be changed then how will you able to measure exact value for that one normally what we are using there is one mirror then this when needle is moving the mirror image also moving along this this one then we are measuring the value the mirror image and the needle are overlapping that is you cannot see the mirror image on the mirror exactly you are able to see only this needle that is needle and its mirror image are overlapped and become as a one image for our eye that position will be the exact value this much difficulty is there that difficulty is not here you can directly read the value but here to during the time of measurement that difficulty is there so that is that may leads to one major error that is gross error human mistake because if one person his visibility is if it is not that much clear he may read different value that is for 30 he may read 50 or 20 same thing may happen one uh, nurse in the hospital or doctor in the hospital who is using this type thermometer there will be large variation in that body temperature that may leads to uh, fault diagnosis so such error and other thing is the observation error due to carelessness or the physical condition of the uh, human operator all these things are leads to error so this error is not due to the machine it is due to the person who is operating <coughs> sorry second one is <coughs> sorry second one is systematic error systematic error is actually due to the false of measuring instrument so it can be due to the aging or sensitivity shift zero offset shift all those things may be there and it can be two type one is uh, instrumental, instrumental error second one is environmental error so the instrumental error means which arises due to misuse of instrument environmental error is due to external condition of the machine device that also you can easily understand Mm. when you are going to market or in a shop to purchase anything if we are, we are going to buy one kilogram rice that time the person he'll uh, keep one uh, basket or if you are going to buy uh, one kilogram mm, this one fruits that time he will keep one uh, uh, plastic uh, car uh, carriage here and that is one um, basket plastic basket here and fill it uh, he will take um, fruits and that will put it in that basket before that one you may see that when he is put keeping that plastic basket on the top of this one there is a change in weight here that is this machine is 
now measuring the weight of that plastic basket then if you are putting the fruits in that basket actually if that basket has weight 10 kg this 10 kg plus your fruits weight you are measuring 1000 kg actually net effect you are losing 10 g that may be error this error how you can adjust that you may see they are adjusting here that is minus 10 gram there is one uh, adjustment minus 10 gram so after it is minus you are setting minus 10 gram and then you are keeping in that plastic basket on the top of this um, device then you can see it becomes zero gram that is it is already subtracted that is its uh, starting point it is shifted to minus 10 gram instead of zero gram so after that if you are uh, measuring anything uh, by using this uh, machine it will always start the measuring from minus 10 gram so if you are changing the plastic basket and uh, this another basket if it has another weight you can adjust that one so that one is known as zero offset zero offset so like that the sensitivity shift so any mistake so if this zero offset become complete, then that will um, badly affect the measurement. So that may be due to instrumental error or sensitivity. If that machine is not sensing uh, in exact value, then it will lead to sensitivity error. Environmental error is there. Some machines we have to operate in some particular temperature. If that temperature we are not keeping, then it will lead to another error. So these things are on a systematic error. Then random error is wonderful one. No one knows what is the exact reason of this. This one you can easily understand. If you are buying one bike, uh, that one you are uh, using for last uh, 10 years. After that wear and tear is there. Even though you replace each and every component, it will show some uh, some mistakes even though new components you are keeping along the vehicle it will show some com uh, error because that random error the chances it is uh, increasing and no one exact no one know what uh, uh, what is the exact uh, reason for this random error so generally we are saying it is random error then this one this is not for the or used to machines the recently built machines uh, it may show that one. So generally we are saying it is random error. Absolute error, it is the amount of physical error in measurement. This one you can easily understand. Uh, normally you are using the first uh, module of the in this uh, subject. We, that is, we measure the resistance by using color code. There the last band after third band, fourth band is tolerance that is if one resistance is shows 100 ohm to resistance and 50 ohm, ohm tolerance means it will accept we are expecting the value 100 ohm but it may shows 150 or 50 ohm between the range 50 to 150 it may shows any value so it's a wide range of error okay but that is known, generally known as absolute error so it is nothing but the what the uh, concept we have already ex uh, explained is the difference between the ex expected value and true value so that is actually absolute error and if you are expressing this absolute error in terms of relative uh, percentage that is the measured that is true value minus actual that is expected value the true value minus expected value or measured value minus actual value divided by the actual value this is actually relative error in, and that is nothing but absolute error in percentage i think all of you clear the concept of errors next we can see the basic block diagram of electronic instrumentation in the next video thank you thank you all.